so the iOS 16.1 has arrived and now it's time for the battery life test of every single iPhone from iPhone 8 to iPhone 11 Pro. What's up guys, this is Mehran from Dynamic Tech. So the iOS 16 was full of bugs but now everything seems good on 16.1. So let's see the battery life test of iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 10 iPhone XR, XS, XS Max, 11 and 11 Pro. The new battery percentage icon is finally appeared on iPhone 11 which was missing on the previous update. Without wasting any time, the brightness is almost set to 80% and we are using the same Wi-Fi network and all of them are SIM free. Now in this battery life test, we are going to be using all these applications each for one hour which includes TikTok, Instagram, PUBG game, YouTube and some use of camera just make sure to watch this video till end because at the end of this video i will be mentioning the battery health of every single iphone and we will be talking about their performance on ios 16.1 so sit tight enjoy the music and i will be right back Welcome back, so this was a battery life test after the iOS 16.1. Now let's talk about the battery health and battery performance on 16.1. I'm going to mention the battery health of each iPhone, so if you are getting any of them with such batteries health, then you may get around the same battery backup with on-screen time. The iPhone 8 with 100% health which I have replaced gone right after 3 hours and 40 minutes which isn't good because 3 hours is not gonna work for anyone. The iPhone 8 plus with 83% battery health died at 3 hours and 37 minutes same as iPhone 8 which I will not recommend in 2022 because if you buy the iPhone 8 plus you may have to charge it twice or thrice a day. The iPhone 10 with 87% health did give up too early at 3 hours and 45 minutes which is really bad. The iPhone XR with 85% health died at 4 hours which isn't that bad but I can't appreciate it because 4 hours is not that good for iPhone XR. Then comes the iPhone XS with 89% health which performed really well because 5 hours backup is really good for the iPhone XS. The XS Max gone at 5 hours and 13 minutes with 84% health and this is the reason why I recommend it to gamers because 5 plus hours backup for XS Max is excellent. On the iPhone 11 we have 100% health which was replaced got almost 6 hours of backup which is the same as iPhone 11 Pro with 86% health. So basically it's a tie between the iPhone 11 with 100% health and 11 Pro with 86% battery health. The iPhone 11 did perform very well against the XS Max because of fresh battery which we have installed on the iPhone 11. Now that's it, if you are going to buy any of them with such batteries health, then keep in mind you will get around the same battery backup on heavy usage while you can get extra 2 hours backup 
on normal usage with on screen time. Let me know your opinions in the comment section right below. Make sure to hit that like button and do subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.